So here we are at Hershey for the fall meet. Uh, this happens once a year. This is probably one of the largest in the world. And I'm here on the first day, so this is Tuesday. So uh, I'm going to show you the car corral here. It's pretty thin right now. So hopefully a little later today, we'll get to see a few more cars here. But uh, I'm planning on coming back tomorrow as well. So anything that we don't get to see here today, hopefully we'll end up seeing tomorrow. Well, it's about uh, almost 8 o'clock and you can see the temperature right now. A little bit cool out here. And uh, not a whole lot open just yet. But uh, anything I see that looks interesting, we'll go ahead and uh, bring you back in. Deal are not open yet, but uh, we got a 1930 cow here for 275. That actually doesn't look too bad. Might be a start of a builder. There, you've got a box that's free. Yeah, I don't see anything in there that I need. Grill shell back air Chevy grill shell. They do have on there sign 29 to 30 parts in line six up there. A bit early, not everyone's open just yet. Need a Buick fender. Doesn't look like there's a price on it. Looks like new old stock. Probably a little bit of shelf damage or that little debt. That's an easy fix. No rust. That chair is hot. <laughs> Plan to be doing a lot of this today. A lot of walking here. It's all parking lot area. Which is nice. It's flat. But boy, it does wear you out. Oh, we got a car for sale here. Let's take a look at this. 32 Chevy Falion. See what we got on our signage. 18.5. Number, I don't know if you can see that. That's probably, probably a pretty rare car there. 32. Nice looking car. These are different than the Fords because these have uh, leaf springs on the front. Got those hood vents on them. Easy way also telling the Chevys. Yeah, we got some open swap meet here. We got some music playing, but I don't. Hopefully, I won't catch on the copyright, or maybe I'll just keep talking so it doesn't catch it. Melody Brawl. I got plenty of them. I don't need any more of those. Yeah, it would be hard pressed to find some um, late model Chevy kind of stuff that I typically go for. Boy, those look like some homemade headers. Well, let's see what else we can find here. Got some early steering, custom steering wheels there. Got a catch tank. Use parts, five dollars. <laughs> Interesting way to display parts. Put them in oil pans. <laughs> yeah, that's that's quite a mix. That's way too heavy. That's a lot of. That's a mix of early parts. So I don't quite know what I'm looking at here. Oh, we got up here. Air manuals. Yeah, look 
goes over here. Build yourself a bandit car for 300 bucks. 77 78 Missing all the important goodies like the grill. L bumper, 200 bucks. Back bumper, don't look that good. It's a little, a little twisted up there. But I guess if you ain't got one, you need one. I guess that could be reasonable. $50 tractor seat. I just saw one of those go at auction for five bucks. Wooden creeper. Four fifty. Pretty cool bicycle. Got that fender like netted on there. That's pretty neat. Five hundred fifty bucks. Nineteen hundred. How about a frame? Eighteen hundred. I have no clue on the value of bicycles. A little thin around here right now. Let's see if we can find some other things that are open. Amico. I'm not seeing a price on that sign. They look really cool on the wall. But that stuff's usually too expensive for me. 67 or 66 wagon there. I don't think that's for sale or nothing any on that. Lots of tools. I don't need any more tools. Chevrolet goodies. A dollar. What do we got in here for a dollar? Well, that's all pretty random. Find something that just happens to be uh, in your area. That's a Virginia. Remember that little key purse? <laughs> um, mix of things. Uh, I don't have that time, kind of time to look through all that. Chevrolet pipe plates. Pontiac. Yeah, the old bumper stickers. Carlisle, 95, 94, 93. Oh, we got them in order, too. 87. 87 was a good year. Yeah. Still a little thin. See what we can find. Chevy valve covers. Small car for five bucks. Distributor. I got about a dozen of them. Ten dollar. That's pretty darn cheap. I don't need any more of them. Looky there. There's a Pontiac fender. New old stock. 500 bucks. I don't need that side though. Well, it's got some rot down the bottom, but for $500, I'll, I'll fix what we got. Hmm? 75 Pontiac. Oh, that's not 75. That's 70. That's 71 to 74 is what that one is. <laughs> Oh, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come to think of it, what did the 75 look like? No, I don't think it looked like that. I don't think it looked like that at all. I think it's like the 75 Nova's. I think it has an end cap on it. Got a Packard for sale. Big car here. Got a phone number, but I don't see a price. Paints fair. 
Terry's just uh, original, but uh, a little worn. Got a 36 tag on it, so I'm going to assume that's a 36. That is a big car. Bet you that's got a nice ride, though, for being an old car like that, that long wheelbase. Not sure what's going on with the paint. Or if a little wet sanding and buffing would uh, fix that. Sorry, no price. So can't tell you what that is going for. Or at least what the asking price is. Clark. Free TR3 Chrome Fly Shift, fifteen bucks if you need something pretty short. Green Machine. I had the original version of the Green Machine. Ooh, what tires we got here? Oh, pretty small. Are they 14s? They are 14s. Only if this guy doesn't show up. Great. 200 bucks for a set of four. 14s. Bias plies. Not sure what the age is. Yep, definitely. De definitely bias plies. Chubbies. 31 Buick. No price. Got some old slots. 14 by 7s, 100 for the pair. I bought a set of four for 80 bucks a couple years ago. Made out pretty good on that deal. Buffed them out. They look half decent. Nice driver quality. Transmission sitting back here. Is that a 350? I think that's a 350. Yeah, it looks like that pan curves there. I think that's 350. Diana. Never heard of it. Pretty wild. There's your steps to get up into the rumble seat. One of 19 known. Wow. Yeah, Cadillac and uh, even Cole had come out with the 8 cylinder back in the Seven grand, that's your phone number. They were doing four and six cylinders up until 1925, then they did the uh, 8 cylinder. 62261. She's a runner. No price on it. Pretty cool setup there. Got a 57 GMC. I apologize about the sun here. 4500. Let me come around the other side see if I can do this without looking into the sun. 
no motor, no tranny, no title. Cameo bedside, that's awesome. I always like the looks of the cameos. Oh, we've got another project over here on the trailer, what we got. Get a closer look at this. It's convertible. I was thinking a Ford. Nope, it's a Plymouth. We got a phone number. There's your phone number. Let's get you a prime. Special Deluxe. It doesn't look bad. And it's got some wear. It's 15.5. There's a couple emblems there. Not a big deal. For a convertible, though? Probably a pretty rare one. I think that glass is too fogged up. Probably not going to be able to see anything there. Uh, there's some bubbling under the paint. I mean, it was probably repainted, who knows what, in the 50s or 60s. So it's probably old lacquer. So it's kind of given up a little bit. But still, not too bad. Might be some room to negotiate on that price. Sixty-six and Palette SS. That looks like the color of the one I had. What I had wasn't a convertible though. Automatic on the floor. Bucket seats. Nice interior. Forty-six K on this. There's your phone number. Got a three twenty-seven under the hood. I think that was called Willow Green in '66. Got the bumper guards on the front. Single pot master cylinder, which is the way they were. No power brakes. Does have power steering. Got the correct uh, wheel covers on it. Get you another look inside. Green on green with a white top. There's a couple little imperfections here and there. Some very light, dense. But it's a lot of metal to go through. I know what it's like to work on these kind of cars. It's a lot of body work to do. This road, five dollars. Boy, I tell you what, you know what carb kit you need by number. That's a heck of a deal. Yeah, that'd be a great deal. Twenty-eight Sport Coupe for seven grand with a stuck engine. Oh boy, that looks in good shape. That is in really good shape. I wouldn't bother me having a stuck engine. You could always do something else with that if you really had to. Yeah. Okay. There's some more flaws going on. Got some bubbling going on back in here. Okay, looks good from 15 foot. But still, seven grand. Yeah, stuff going on with the fenders too. You can see all that bubble. In storage for 42 years. Can't walk by and not film this. Just too darn cool. Very nice. Thank you for bringing. All kinds of things at this show. <laughs> Bug 750. <laughs> right hand drive, three wheeler. <laughs> and here I am. <laughs> I had to do that. Yeah, but the day before we left, come here. Yeah. <laughs>
pretty wild. 1950 Chevrolet for 16 grand. But, oh, you can probably see that phone number there. That's a small car. Ooh, got a hole in the roof. There you go. Model A here for six grand. Car's been stored for 66 years. There's your price. I don't know if you'll be able to see much inside. Nothing under the hood. That'd make a cool little street run. Back up here, get you a little more of a shot of that. Sorry, I'm kind of looking into the sun. Got a little Chevy 2 dragger here for sale. Like a big block under the hood. Let's get a little closer look. Uh, maybe not. Nope, it's a small block. Let's see what the sign says. It's a 62, a 327, 12, wow, 12 to 1 piston center. 20 grand. Forty-five K on the Pontiac. Thinking that's about a forty-eight or so. Got a Hornet. Four-door. Got that interior. I finished up with a couple rows. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk down through a little bit of the car corral area, go onto the bridge, come up on the other side, do some more swap meet. Take a look at what we can find. Seen these two Oldsmobiles up at Carlisle. I see they didn't sell. Sounds like something coming here. and take a look at this Ford. 40 Ford Deluxe Convertible. My parents uh, had one of these when they were just married. There's this little tiny black and white photo of my parents on their wedding day in the car. I had to dig that up sometime. Gorgeous. I did not see a price. I will get a phone number here for you before I walk away. Hmm. All right. Oh, we do have a price. 39K. I think actually that uh, that's a pretty fair price. These do not come cheap. Do a convertible Electra. Get you a limo. A Porsche. Got two of them here. Pontiac four door. Very 50s colors. Two tone green. 
I don't know if we'll be able to see in there. There's quite a reflection going on. That's an automatic on the column. Looking at that front end. Is that uh, 56, I think? Ford Fairlane. Mm. Look at that price. 44, 444, and 44 cents. Next to it, nice looking Thunderbird. Saw one earlier, but I couldn't film it. There was too many people around. It was all black, black interior, steel rims on it, little caps. The thing was <laughs> awesome looking. Mustang with air conditioning and a convertible top to boot. I got here Commander. Is that a Studebaker then? Yep, 1938 Studebaker Commander Convertible. One of two in the USA. 76K or a best off. Oh my goodness, look at that. We got uh, right hand drive. Was not expecting that. Rear doors are suicide doors. The Yenko Camaro. 427. Is it a real deal? Let's see if we can find some signage on this. Cool. Four speed. Very nice. Very nice. Big block under the hood. Nice and clean. Got all the markings on the firewall. Looks done right. We'll get a look at that sign once we get a chance. Yeah, that's what I thought. Replica. No price. Nicely done though. All right, so head back up into the swap meet area to see what else we can find. Sitting down for a couple minutes. Um, it's almost 12 o'clock, so I've been walking around for just over four hours. So uh, time to take a little seat here on the curb. Still looking for some deals. Pick up a couple small things this morning so far. Pick up a car rebuild kit for $5.00. A couple other small odds and ends, some sandpaper that I needed. Yeah, a mini bike back here for thirty-five hundred. Forty dollars. Sparkomatic. I thought they made more car stereos. Sparkomatic, not uh, shifters. That's a sparkomatic on it. <laughs> That's new to me. We got a little wheelies over here. Kitchen Overland. Or Jeepster. My bad. 49 Jeepster. 14.5. Looks all together. Looking for some cheap parts. Not finding anything. Where'd all those dollar tarts get to? That seems like a pretty good deal. Someone in need of a bumper for their 70, 70 to 72 Camaro. 50 bucks. $70 
75 a pair. Yeah, bought me a stack of oil filters. I know that stuff is that boy. Four of them for ten dollars for small block Chevy. Nice old Harley. Sixty-five thousand. I don't know motorcycles, so I couldn't tell you if that's a fair price or not. That is vintage motorcycles. Ten dollar bucks. Right, let's see what we got over on this other side. I see some interesting things. I don't need any more intakes. I certainly don't need any more carbs. Doesn't mean I don't look at it though. Yeah. So Kipper, they give a lot of that on a lot of this show. Cars and stuff that they pull out. More carbs. Twenty-five bucks. Frank went down hard. Wasn't that old either? Sixty-two. Wait a minute, is that an intake for $25? I don't need any more. I really don't need any more. That's a fair price, though. But no, I don't need any more. Gas to wheels. Fuck a pop. That's probably a pretty good deal. My little casters are still holding up on my cart. <laughs> Had a flat tire that uh, first day at Carlisle. Ran over a staple. Looks like Ford stuff. A lot of Ford stuff here. Ford, Packard, Studebaker, and of course a lot of pre-war stuff. So for us guys that had 50s cars and up, a little bit more slim pickings. There's a Camaro Cal, 60 bucks. A Wizard, 575. Outboard motors, heavy duty chainsaw, that'll wear you out. More bicycles. 62 Impala convertible up here. Well, a little wavy here or there. Uh, we got 63,000. 69,000 original miles. There's your phone number. Bench seat car, 283 automatic, so power glide. I, it's not a bad looking car, it's just I don't think that's the right amount of money. I don't know if there's enough room for negotiating to uh, probably where I think it should be. I would think this is probably about a $30,000, $35,000 car. But what do I know? There you go, 62 Impala. There's one way to get around the ocean. Do it on a gurney. Sold this van over at Carlisle for sale. I see it still hasn't sold. 64.95. There's a couple craftsmen that floating around and that's for a buck. Hmm. And some, some offshore stuff, but oh, you know what you're looking for. I used to keep a list on my phone of any odd sockets I needed. Yeah. I have a nice looking Pontiac Woody there. Got a nice Pontiac. Right, Pontiac Row here. It's beautiful cars. It's one thing about Hershey. Oh, got the golf door open there. Or your golf club storage. Hershey will always find beautiful pre war cars. Spa 
special. It's a 1984. This is the one you were able to buy from the dealerships, I think. On fiberglass with a, like a Pinto engine or something like that in it. Or Mustang 2. There you go. 55 T Bird for 3 grand. It does not say that it's got a title, but what it does have is a lot of rust. Ooh, that puts some splice together there. Wow. Yeah, that's going to need a little bit of work. Lots of fill in the back quarter. Let me try to get around this trailer here. Yep, that one's going to need quite a bit of work. Wow, besides been all spliced together. <laughs> Look at all this patchwork. That was that was obviously done back in the day because that was pretty rough stuff. Ooh. Got a lot of work to do for this one here. 55 T-Bird, 3 grand. Ooh, look, we got 8-tracks. We got them all facing the wrong direction though. You can't see what's in here. Told them everything. Country. We can skip the country. <laughs> Old super coil. I mean, that was cool to have that mounted on your firewall back in the day. Jack and Jill. Got over here, Buick 1913 Model 69. What is this? An Oakland? 15 grand. Overland. Willie's Overland. What's this logo? It's on the door. Willis Carriage Club, Texas. Oh, she's got a nice vintage smell going on here. Check out the Crosley. The hat just makes all the difference. <laughs> Someone stripped all the paint off of it and then left it. There's your phone number. $29.95 for 46 Crosley. I'll take a look inside. Glass is bubbling up a little bit. That seat's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, man, she's just rusty everywhere you look. Twenty seven T electric start runs and drives title six grand. There's your phone number if it'll stop moving. It's a little bit rusty. Give you that patina look. A little pickup truck. Rusty Wallace. Oh, you're going to need that. <laughs> oh, there's some crusty ones in here. One dollar table. One dollar. What have we got? Yeah, One dollar. Okay. Do you know which uh, air filter you need? It's only a buck. This is what I like about Hershey. They have a lot of one dollar tables and tarps. But then they also have a lot of new old stock stuff for very high prices. Which, if that's what you want, that's great. $20 table. Uh, we're getting up there now. We're going to soon be on my price range. Volkswagen bus. 55k. That's a nice patino on that. This 
still walking. I'm getting burnt out here. I'm probably only going to do another row or two. It's uh, 1.36. So I've been here since uh, just before 8 this morning. A little bit warmer now. Nice breeze going. Got some pedal cars over here. Some project cars. Take a look at that. You got a little bit of rust. Whew. Fifty bucks. You know what I found here? I found more than I had at the shop. Not seeing too much. I haven't bought a whole awful lot today, but I managed to pick up a couple things. That is one of the things. If you're uh, if you're like me and you're in the 50s to 80s cars, you'll find stuff. But uh, sometimes it's slim pickings. Those are cool. Little Metro, no price on that. I don't know if that one might not be for sale. One way to get around, get you some rollerblades. Ten dollar carburetors. Not for the tab, I think you just changed the, 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 the take out the tab. There you go, that's cool. It was just a regular, you know, wearing ass car. You know, nothing special. Special or not. Yo, man. Beep, beep. Way out of my budget. They're always cool to look at. All right. I'm going to do this row out here, down back through the car corral on my way out. And then I'm going to end up being back tomorrow. Lots of cheap prices. Get a bill for twelve dollars. <laughs> it's like a Cadillac tail light. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Crosley. I thought that was a Crosley engine. Five horse breeds. I do for swap me here today. I'm going to head back down through the car corral, see if there's any other cars that we haven't looked at on my way out. And then again, tomorrow I'll be back 
and uh, do what I didn't get done here today. It's impossible to do this entire event in one day. It's just way too much work. Uh, Cover a lot of area though. Is this a Plymouth? Yeah, I see the quarter minute now. Look the detail on the hood. That's pretty cool. Don't have any uh, information from what I can see. But it's a really nice restored car. Check out that back door. Sweet. Nice looking uh, 34 Chevrolet. 29. I don't know how well you can read that phone number. It's pretty shaky. Jaguar. Ford Skyliner, 65K. Got a nice looking Javelin sitting here. Not seeing any uh, signage on it. Not a bad looking car. Got some issues going on paint wise on the door. Bucket seats, four speed on the floor. Still not a bad looking car. But even better, it's the one beside it. AMX. Not a fan of the wheels on the car. Another manual. Sweet. Again, no signage on that. Ditch the wheels and I'd run it just the way that is. That's pretty cool. It says HRG. I couldn't tell you any more than that. Yeah. That's completely different. Never seen one before. Even the pedal set has the HRG on it. It's like a lot of aluminum. All right, that's going to do for today. Like I say, I'm going to be back then tomorrow. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, do me a favor. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment. As always, thanks for watching.